Will Chelsea secure only their second win in their last 11 Premier League meetings with the Reds, or will Liverpool leave West London with all the spoils? Watch until the end of this preview to hear all of my thoughts on tomorrow's match. To another video. This is my Chelsea versus Liverpool preview for the game which will be taking place tomorrow evening in the Premier League at Stamford Bridge with kickoff at 4:30 p.m. UK time. So what I'm going to do for you guys in terms of this preview is that firstly I'll be kicking things off with the team news concerning both sides, and as always with these previews, I'll be kicking things off with the team news concerning the home side. And in the case of tomorrow's match, the home side will be Chelsea. I'll then be giving you guys my lineup based on the team news in which I'm going to give you. I will also be giving you guys my four things in which I believe the Chelsea first team must do against Liverpool tomorrow evening or tomorrow afternoon. And lastly, I'll be giving you guys my score prediction. So without further ado, let's get straight into this preview. So kicking things off, with the Chelsea team news, there's only one story concerning the Chelsea first team, and it concerns Hakim Ziyech, Thiago Silva, Ben Chilwell, and Christian Pulisic. And this story explains that all four of them will not be available for the Blues um, due to injuries and a lack of match fitness. Um, Hakim Ziyech still has the knee injury in which he picked up against Brighton and Hove Albion in August in the preseason friendly. Thiago Silva is not match fit yet. I believe he's only just started training. Um, but yeah, he's not he's not match fit and won't be in the squad tomorrow, I don't think. Um, ben Showell still has that heel problem, which has been hindering him for quite a while now. And Christian Pulisic, Christian Pulisic still hasn't gotten over the hamstring problem that he... Um, that he suffered against Arsenal in the FA Cup final. But yes, that is it for the Chelsea team news. Now moving straight on to the Liverpool team news, there is also only one story concerning the Liverpool, Liverpool first team, and it concerns their new signing, Thiago Alcantara. I hope I pronounced that correctly. But yes, um, Thiago Alcantara will be available for Liverpool as the registration process um, was completed in time. And that is the one thing I did not want to hear. But yes, that is a bonus for them because Thiago Alcantara is a brilliant player. He's absolutely world class. Um, there is a strong chance that it could take that that um it could take um a bit of time for him to gel in the Premier League. But um, I wouldn't be surprised if he if he got if he if he put his foot on the gas straight away. But yes, that is it for the team news concerning Liverpool, and that is it for the team news concerning both sides. Um, in terms of us, not too much in terms of new updates or updates, but yes, that is it for the team news concerning both sides. Now for my lineup, and as always, starting off with the formation. I have chosen to go with a 4 3 3 because Liverpool are known for using a 4 3 3, and I do believe that Chelsea are at their best when they're using a 4-3-3. Yes, you can't really say that. You can't really say that right now when you when you um when you consider the additions we've made um in the transfer window or the additions we've brought in um during the course of the transfer window so far. But I do think that it would make sense for us to go over 4-3-3 against Liverpool tomorrow evening or tomorrow afternoon. But in terms of the personnel I've chosen for my lineup, I've gone with Kepa in goal. I've gone with um, Rhys James at right back. I've gone with Andres Christensen and Kurt Zuma as the centre backs. And I've gone with Marcos Alonso as the left back. I've gone with a midfield three of N'Golo Kante, Mateo Kovacic and Mason Mount. And I've gone with a front three from right to left of Kai Havertz, Olivier Giroud and Timo Werner. So that is the lineup that I've gone with. Please do let me know what your lineups are in the comment section below. And as always, guys, I will do my very best to respond. But right, here's a graphic showing you guys the formation that I've chosen and the personnel that I've chosen for my lineup. Voila. Now for my four things in which I believe the Chelsea first team must do against Liverpool tomorrow evening. 
the first thing in which I believe the Chelsea first team must do against Liverpool tomorrow evening is that they must not allow their fullbacks to have time on the ball and space to exploit. And that is the main reason as to why I've gone with a 4 3 3 because it, it means that we'll most likely match them man for man. But um, we cannot allow their fullbacks to have any time on the ball and space to exploit because if we do, then they'll most likely whip in balls that um, their forwards will end up eating up and scoring from. They've done so, they've done it before, and they'll do it again if we allow them to do so. In the last two meetings in which Chelsea have had with Liverpool, there are two players that have, that have scored Trent Alexander Arnold and Roberto Firmino. And Trent Alexander Arnold, if, we, if you give him any sort of space, he'll whip in an absolute peach of a ball. And like I said already, their forwards will probably eat it up and score from it. Um, yeah. It's as simple as that. It should be straightforward, to be honest. Um, it is well known that Liverpool do like to push their fullbacks forward, um, so we have to we have to find find a way to stop them from getting forward. Otherwise, they will have um, they will, they will have a central overload and cause problems in that in that fashion. But yes, I hope that made sense. But that is the first thing in which I believe the Chelsea first team must do against Liverpool tomorrow evening. I don't know why I keep saying evening, it's, it's tomorrow afternoon, but yes. That is the first thing in which I believe the Chelsea first team must do against Liverpool. The second thing in which I believe the Chelsea first team must do against Liverpool tomorrow afternoon, there we go, is that they must keep the ball and be quick in transition. If we're slow in transition, then it means that Liverpool will have time to get back into their shape or deny us any sort of space to, to attack or exploit. Um, sort of um, uh, sort of a contradiction or the opposite um, of my first point in a way. But yes, in addition to this, I do believe that we need to press the ball when necessary, i.e. when we lose it so that we can recover it as quickly as possible. Otherwise, Liverpool will have more space to attack potentially and therefore have a greater chance of scoring or getting shots on goal. But yes, that is the second thing in which I believe the Chelsea first team must do against Liverpool tomorrow afternoon. The third thing in which I believe the Chelsea first team must, 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 must do against Liverpool tomorrow evening, tomorrow afternoon, is that they must not give away cheap fouls. In the last two Premier League meetings in which Chelsea have had with Liverpool, they have given away cheap fouls, cheap set pieces, and they scored from them. In the 5-3 defeat at Anfield, yes, the free kick in which Trent Alexander-Arnold scored was never a free kick, but we still had to deal with it, and we didn't deal with it. So we need to we need to not give away cheap fouls. Um, and in the um, in the 2-1 loss at Stamford Bridge, which was literally almost a year ago to the day, um, again a poor free kick to, to concede I believe it was Andreas Christensen who conceded it I can't remember now it was almost a year ago to the day like I've just said but um, we have to find a way to deal with these set pieces because if we can't then we might as well just do our best to not concede them and I hope that makes sense and I hope that doesn't sound too irrational but yeah we cannot give away cheap fouls because they do have some fantastic set piece takers in their team and um we're not we're not good when it comes to dealing with set pieces, and we're not good from set piece situations, to be honest, um, defensively and defensively. But yes, that is the third thing in which I believe the Chelsea first team must do against Liverpool tomorrow afternoon. And the fourth and final thing in which I believe the Chelsea first team must do against Liverpool tomorrow afternoon is that they must make penetrating runs off the ball. And the reason why I'm saying this is because Liverpool do tend to use a high line, and we do have quite a bit of pace um, in our attack um, in Kai Havertz and um, Timo Werner and others um, so yeah I do believe that we we do need to make penetrating runs off the ball so we can get in behind their back line and um, try and get try and create chances against Brighton and Hove Albion we did so um, to relative degrees to um, not relative to varying degrees of success, most notably when Timo Werder won the penalty. And yeah, I think we can do, I think we can cause them problems if we do make penetrating runs off the ball. Leeds United did it to a T. Um, so I, I certainly think that Chelsea have, have the um, firepower to do so at least. But yes, those are the four things 
in which I believe the Chelsea first team must do against Liverpool tomorrow afternoon. Please do let me know what your four things are in the comment section below and as always guys, I will do my very best to respond. Now to conclude this preview, I'm going to give you guys my score prediction. You'll be surprised to hear me say that I have actually gone with a 3-2 Chelsea win. I have actually gone with the same prediction that I went with when we played Liverpool at Stamford Bridge last season. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, I am very nervous. I am bricking it right now. Of course, I'm speaking figuratively. Um, but yes, this will, by, this will by no means be an easy game. And I do expect Liverpool to score because they have such brilliant players in their team and they will they will be hungry for points at Stamford Bridge and to be honest with you guys neither team played brilliantly in their opening games of the season I mean defensively um, for a fair portion of the game against Brighton and Hove Albion we did look very shaky and defensively I thought for a fair period of that game we looked non non-existent but I do think that the players will have had time to gel and get get an understanding of how how um, their um, colleagues play and how their colleagues um, like to play, shall I say. But yes, I have gone with a 3-2 Chelsea win. I do think it will be a hard game, like I've said already, and I, I would not be surprised if we lost the game or drew or got anything less than a win, of course. But yes, that is why I've gone with a 3-2 Chelsea win. Please do let me know what your score predictions are in the comment section below. And as always, guys, I will do my very best to respond. That is it for this preview. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please do like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I will see you very soon for some more videos. My next video will, of course, be my reaction video. Um, but anyways, come on, you blues. Come on, Frank Lampard. And peace. Please just beat Liverpool. Come on, Chelsea.